it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is about standing your ground for your client and what your client wants. But again, it's going back to communication. So I work in all different faiths, all different types of churches. I respect whatever de denomination I am in for whatever client I'm working with at the moment. I was raised Catholic though, and so I know a lot about Catholicism, or at least I like to think that I know how to run a wedding and a reception. Most Catholic churches have a wedding guild and have sometimes really awesome nice ladies, and sometimes they have ladies that think I want their job, but I don't. It's typically a voluntary position for ladies who really just want to give their time to the church. So you would think that they would be really happy and excited. However, at this particular Catholic church, that was not the case. So what happened was at rehearsal and 30 days before, what the bride wanted and what we talked about was a little bit different and unique from the norm. So the bride's mother was her maid of honor or her matron of honor, I should say, because she's married to her father. They were best friends, had the best relationship. And then in a Catholic church, typically you have a unity candle. Not all the time, but at this particular wedding, we did. And so the mom and dad typically process up, they light the unity candle, their side, the father seats the mother, and then he walks back around to get the bride, which is exactly what we practiced at rehearsal. The priest was aware of it, everything was good. So about 30 minutes before the wedding started, the church lady arrives and opens up the church doors and she's hurrying because she was late. And she comes up to me and she says, how is the mother lighting the unity candle? Because the priest told me the mother was lighting the unity candle. Now, literally 60 seconds before she asked me this question, one of my team members came up and said, do you want me to put the lighter by the unity candle at the head of the church? That had just happened. So I responded to her by saying, with a lighter. And she said, young lady, I do not have time for your sassy back talk. How is the mother lighting the unity candle at the front of the church? And I said, I'm sorry, I, maybe I'm misunderstanding your question, but with a lighter, because that's how she was lighting the candle on her side. And she said, stop back talking me. How is she going to light it? She's the maid of honor and she's walking down the aisle and lighting a unity candle. And, and it, how are you doing this? We've never done this before. We're not doing this. And I mean, I was just completely stunned. And not only stunned, I was quite embarrassed because at the same time this was all going down in the lobby, three 56 passenger buses with all the out of town guests had rolled up. And guess what? They were all coming in the front doors. So they witnessed this lady screaming at me about the lighter and the unity candle and the negativity about the mom being the maid of honor. It was just not a great first impression for the guest or the Catholic church that they were attending. And half of the, the people, they, they're on the groom side, they weren't Catholic, so they didn't know what was going on. So I tried to quietly move over into the corner to diffuse the situation away from the guest. And she was still yelling at me, asking me questions. And I said, I'm sorry that this is the first time that you're doing this, but she's the matron of honor. We practiced it last night. This is what the bride wants. And this is the way that we're going to do it. And I just walked off. Well, a bridesmaid had also witnessed all that and had already made it back to the bride's room to tell the bride, oh, why would you do that? Sometimes it's best if your client doesn't know. And I wasn't going to say anything to the bride. And then the mom got upset. And, you know, this is all right before the ceremony is happening. So I calmed the bride down. I call, calmed the mom down and lined them up just like I did at rehearsal. And that church lady was bad talking the whole time, saying, I just can't believe that you're doing it. I mean, so negative. And so, again, trying to keep light of the situation and keeping it very positive, um, I pretty much just had to tell the mother, the bride, and the bride to please ignore her and just listen to me and I'll give you your cue and do what we practiced. So we went through with the ceremony. We did it the, the way that, that we wanted to do it and everything was fine. I still don't understand what the problem was. But after we got the bride down the aisle and the lady came up to me and she started in on me again about the rules of the church and this and that, and I said, you know what, I'm, I grew up Catholic and you might know my parents, they're very involved in the Catholic diocese, they're so-and-so and so-and-so. And she's like, oh, I know your 
mother, and she totally changes her attitude. So it really, really made her look very negative and very rude, and it just looked bad for the Catholic Church. So over at the reception, several guests came up to me and asked me, why was that lady yelling at you? What was the problem? And I said, oh, she was just running late. She was having a bad day. It was no big deal. Now, I could stand there and be really negative and talk bad about her in the church, but why do that? Why pull a negative situation into it? I don't want the Catholic Church to look bad, and I don't want these guests to get the wrong impression. So again, always reverting it back to being positive. Let the drama go and stand your ground for your client and try to do what's right for what your client wants. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.